It was the final day of the school year, and we were all in the mood for some classically formative experiences. This was my gap. In order of coolness, by which I mean the average number of cigarettes we each smoked per day, there was Adnan Masood, a.k.a. Addy, Ralph Roberts, and Tom Craggy Crag. And this was me, just sitting on a table, thinking, I assume, knowing me. It's quite hard to visually demonstrate thinking, isn't it? Yeah, that's better. A lot fresher face then, of course. But then that is what circa 10,000 pints of cheap lager will do to you. And of course, we all picture ourselves being slightly better looking in our memories, don't we? So, you know, just go with it. Grab the armbar! Oh, no chance, dickhead. Oh, you two puck in! He's doing me in. Yeah, we're both nice, and soft as shit. Yeah, well, at least we're not thick as shit and actually end up going to uni and trying to do something with our lives instead of spending the next decade just managing a coke habit, Ralph. S sorry, got carried away there. I don't know why I did that. That was uh, bad. I'm snobbish and I won't do it again. Uh, they can't hear me, by the way. As the cooler slash more carcinogenically exposed members of the group, Adnan and Ralph had big ambitions for the summer, involving two girls, names of Rachel Fielder and Cassie McClare. Cassie, it was agreed, was almost the coolest, most fanciable girl in the school, second only to Rachel Fielder. Rachel's coolness partly lay in her knowing and singing the best new songs before anyone else. On this particular day, it was Never Leave You by Lou Come in, come in, come in, come in. Fuck up, man. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Rachel. <laughs> I'm Rachel. Ralph. You're Rachel, I'm Ralph. Yeah, I know. So, uh, how are you keeping then? How's she keeping? It's like my uncle, he's dead. I'm keeping all right, thanks. Maybe see you down Cleveland's tonight? Yeah, 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 defo. I'll see you then, then. What's that song that you've been singing today? Never Leave You by Luma D. She's sick and she's gonna be a star. Like I hear Beyonce's also gonna be. Cool, cool one. Sick one. <coughs> hey, up, Cassie. Give us a fucking cig, Addy. Yeah, sure. He, he can have two if you like. Can I have them all? Of course. Cheers. In a bit. Oh, Cassie's so fucking fit, I want to jump off a footbridge. Tut. Even as a youth, unlike Addy, I would never objectify women in this way. Yeah. Absolute stun bucket, mate. Addy, we went four ways on them six. Shut up, Craggy. I'll get me pocket money tonight, I'll get more. Hey, Ralph, you really fucked up your chance to impress Field with it. <laughs> what do you mean? We hardly said out to her, didn't you? Yeah, and what you did say were fucking stupid. Shut up, Craggy. I'm not like that, am I? Some lads, they just like to talk and talk and talk. That's not me. My two penneth, yeah? Birds talk. Yeah, lads only say shit when shit needs actually saying. Rachel knows that a real man will just sit there, yeah, and not try and impress her and do his own thing. Do you know what I mean? And she respects me because that's me. I, I've, I've never, I've never talked too much, never blabbed on. Do you know what I mean? I don't like, I don't like big conversations. I don't do it. I never have done. I never will do. do you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, I'm strong but silent. Yeah. Forever. End of. Right. It's just that White is chatting her up and she seems to be enjoying it. Our antagonist, the villain of the piece, Matthew White, who went by Whitey even to his parents, was renowned for once having nutted a train conductor for having the neck to ask to see his ticket. Yeah, she won't fall for his bullshit. She seems to be falling for it pretty hard. Oh, Craggy. Look, Ralph, it, it, it's normal to feel pissed off when you've been rejected. What the fuck are you, Liam? Some sort of fucking therapist or something? <laughs> I'm only trying to help. He's looking over, Rolf. Yeah. I'll smack him if he looks over again. Will you fuck, Ralph? You know, we'll crack it. Ralph, get, hey, get off him, man. Ralph, get off him. Oh, get off. I know you better have them things by tonight, mate. This ain't the down, it's the upbeat. Make it complete.